The name of today's star reflects his origins. The corgi dog comes from Wales and was said to be a Viking cattle dog. Despite its inconspicuous appearance, the Welsh corgi is an extremely eager and conscientious drover who is in no way inferior to larger dogs such as the German Shepherd. In 1925, the corgi dog was officially recognized as a dog breed. Years later there was a disagreement, so that the Welsh Corgi is differentiated between Welsh Corgi Cardigan and Welsh Corgi Pembroke from 1934. The suffixes Cardigan and Pembroke refer to the regions of Wales where the dogs come from. Both Corgi dog breeds can be distinguished by their coat color and a shortened tail. Fun fact, according to Welsh legend, Corgi dogs are mounts of fairies and even have saddle marks on their backs. The Welsh Corgi has become famous not least because Queen Elizabeth II is a fan of these dogs, and has owned more than 30 of these cute short-legged four-legged friends in the course of her life. What does she find in the little ones? Even if they look cute, Corgis are not lap dogs, the furry friends from Wales were originally cattle dogs that, thanks to their low shoulder height, could easily duck away when the cattle kicked out at them. They were also used on farms as guard dogs and to hunt mice and rats. Welsh Corgi means something like Welsh Dwarf Dog. There is a Welsh Corgi Pembroke and a Welsh Corgi Cardigan, with the terms Pembroke and Cardigan denoting the region from which the breed originated. Today it is hardly ever used as a drover or pied piper. Today it has become popular with a small circle of fans as a family dog. But there aren't that many specimens, less than 300 Welsh Corgi Pembrokes are born in Great Britain every year. And in Germany, Pembrokes and Cardigans together don't even register a hundred puppies a year. Corgis are usually very well suited as family dogs that play lovingly with children and are good-natured. However, there is one thing they cannot shake off, their tendency to bite their heels, which is still part of their disposition from the times when they were herded cattle. Therefore, they are more suitable for families with slightly older children, also because they should already know how to deal responsibly with the friendly dwarfs. Corgis don't tend to be nervous like many small dog breeds. They tend to be quiet when kept busy and exercised. Despite their short legs, Welsh Corgis need a lot of exercise and exercise. If they get these, they can also be kept indoors. However, you should make sure that they climb as few stairs as possible with their short legs and long back to avoid health problems. If you live on an upper floor, you should take the elevator with your corgi or carry it upstairs. Corgis are quite independent in character and do not readily subordinate themselves, which is why they need consistent training. They are naturally stubborn and even occasionally audacious. So if you buy a Welsh corgi, you should be able to smile about it. In addition, their tendency to bark is more pronounced than in other dogs. To exercise, Welsh corgis need physical and mental exercise. They are also good for dog sports such as tracking, obedience, and dog dancing. Of course, herding sports such as treball suit his nature particularly well. Since they are very agile, fast, and intelligent, they can also be very successful in agility training. However, you should then run a course that does not contain any jumps due to the short legs and long back. Clicker training is also suitable for teaching the clever furry friends all sorts of tricks. However, you should not overdo it with the reward treats since corgis tend to be overweight. The Welsh Corgi loves to feast and never miss a tasty morsel. Due to its stature with the long back and short legs, obesity is particularly dangerous for this dog breed and the strain on joints and back is very high in this case. Therefore, 
to avoid obesity, it is important to give high quality, long lasting food and in between to give at most low calorie rewards. It is best to get advice from your veterinarian on the optimal amount of food. You should train your Welsh Corgi away from begging at the table as a puppy, even if it is not an easy task to remain firm with the cute four-legged friends. To make sure your Corgi isn't overweight, weigh it regularly. If he has to lose weight, you should get advice from the vet on how you can reduce his weight gently and healthily. Overall, both the Pembroke Welsh Corgi and the Cardigan Welsh Corgi are reasonably hardy, healthy dog breeds. In rare cases, diseases such as hip dysplasia, degenerative myelopathy, progressive retinal atrophy or von Willebrand disease occur. Degenerative myelopathy is a neurological disease with progressive paralysis that spreads throughout the body and is incurable. In progressive retinal atrophy, the retina slowly dies and the affected animals become blind. If the dog is affected by von Willebrand disease, it has an increased tendency to bleed. The Welsh Corgi is also suitable for novice dogs, provided that they are properly informed and strive for consistent training, preferably under the guidance of an experienced dog trainer. If the lovable, but also idiosyncratic four-legged friend is well-trained, he is well-suited as a family dog and is fond of children. Ideally, however, the children are a little older. Since the Welsh Corgi develops a close bond with its people, it should not be left alone for long periods of time. In addition, his family should have the time and energy to go for long walks with him and keep him busy with dog sports or intelligence games. Then the Welsh Corgi is even ready for life in an apartment, even if he is of course happy about a house with a garden. Are you thinking about getting a Corgi? Let us know what you decide in the comments below. And if you know someone who's thinking about getting a Corgi, please share this with them. If you liked this video check out our website, the link is in the description of this video. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.